major growth of COVID-19 during first month of the second wave of COVID in Karnataka, India. So this is one of our work research work carried out during the initial date uh, initial days of uh, COVID-19 because we are monitoring the COVID this one. We as the COVID cases are rapidly increasing. So in order to control the disease, we it was very essential to note the rate at which the COVID cases are increasing. There are different models are there. You must be aware that's a simple one we use. You are all aware about the regression, like a simple regression method we use uh, for prediction technique in usual management and uh, time series technique. But here it is not uh, much of useful because the cases are rapidly increasing like, at exponential growth. They are doubling, like they are different shapes they are taking daily, like one day parameter. Uh, parametric this shape they take or some other day uh, non-linear shape, exponential, cubical, the very rapid shape they are taking. So in order to understand it, in order to initiate the control measures, it is essential to model them, like mathematically model it. So if model it accordingly, we can uh, start the control measures and then we can assess how the daily the cases are increasing or decreasing. The second wave of COVID-19 started during last year, April 29. It was more devastating than the first wave. Because in the second wave, all of a sudden cases, this one, the patients required more oxygen, oxygen and hospital beds were of shortage, not sufficient bed were available and mortality rate was very high. So in this situation, uh, it was very essential to understand the growth of epidemic. So it is an important task in containing the spread of disease to in order to ascertain which cases are increasing and how to control them and what measures we can undertake. The current measures of what we are undertaken were not sufficient. We were insisting on uh, vaccinations. It was not yet available. We were saying of sanitation, social distance and uh, lockdown. Still, they were of no use. So it was a very essential to know what, uh, how the rates at rate at which they are increasing. So the objective of uh, this communication is to, to model the growth curve of COVID-19 confirmed cases using exponential curve during first month, uh, month of second wave in Karnataka. It has eight states were mainly affected uh, due to this COVID, including West Bengal, Delhi, Maharashtra. So the data was uh, available, easily available for Karnataka. So we tried to uh, model it to know the growth rate of uh, this COVID-19 cases. So the data for the present study was based on the secondary data, which we obtained from the website COVID-19 India ORG, which daily up-to-date data was uh, available. This pertained to 1st April to 30th April 2021. It was a very peak like that, very uncontrollable situations. It is not unimaginable that we'll be able to control it within the span of seven, eight months it was not the situation that was the picture very grim picture when this second wave was started the collected data was first entered into microsoft excel and later on it was uh, analyzed using spss software so in order to model this thing various models were considered starting from uh, uh, linear multinomial various models we considered and uh, we found that exponential growth model fitted well for this data and we also <clears throat> calculated the case fatality rate and uh, a rate of uh, ratio of recovery to death. And as you know that exponential curve mainly it gives the doubling like the rate at which the cases are doubled, means duration like how many days it takes to double like whether the cases are doubled in four, every four days, eight days, six days, like our intention was to delay it. Like. But we were observing that even every Third day, the cases were developing. Suppose today there were 4,000 cases. After two days, it would be 8,000 cases. After another three days, it would be 16,000. So like, like at the rate at which exponential these cases were this one, we try to model. So mainly the focus was fixed for this period to fit it using the exponential curve, not the linear. Uh, PT equal to B0 into exponential B1 into T, where B0 and B1 are the parameters which were estimated based on the available data. PT is the population, means number of cases which are reported at a time T. And we can also compute it to see the severity of the cases, case fatality rate, that is total number of deaths at time T 
divided by total number of confirmed cases into two. So at the peak of this COVID cases, it was case fatality rate in some region, it reached the 5%. That is 5% of the cases reported the deaths. And we also see the how cases are recovering. Like as the recovery was very slow, so it is total number of persons recovered divided by total number of deaths at time t. So we collected the data and fitted. These are the observed cases. You can see that during the first month, the cases are rapidly increasing at exponential rate. They're doubling. Like that. You can see you can observe the first 30 days of the April itself. It says the cases has risen from uh, zero to like 50,000 like that. So this is the pace at which the cases were uh, increasing. And similarly, like cases of deaths also, cumulative deaths like. So in one month, uh, it reached up to uh, 3,000 deaths. Like in the first month itself in uh, the second wave, Karnataka state has reported this one. Why we have selected Karnataka was because it was one of the most affected state out of the eight states. During the first uh, second phase of the first month, though many states were reporting, but these were the very affected most because of COVID. So we focused on the Karnataka. So through Karnataka, we try to uh, sense the trend like that. What is the trend of this? Okay. Uh, when we fit in the data into SPSF software and it model was fit good means R square, you can see 97 point means, means the model was 97.9% accurate. Like the variability in what the daily number of cases was showing to the observed and predicted. It was 97.9% around nearly 98% prediction. This equation was true. And this model was statistically significant here. B naught was uh, 3629 means initially it started with 3629 day one and uh, later on we can see that b1 b1 is 0 0.085 it means that daily the cases are increasing at 8.5 percent so the daily increase in the cases was 8.5 percent this was the speed at which the cases were in when the model was fit we can see this is the uh, line is the this black uh, line, what you are seeing is the observed values and dotted values are the predicted values. So you can see that the predicted values are closely concentrated around the observed line. So this prediction is pretty good line. The prediction shows a very accurate uh, prediction of occurrence of the cases. So this confirmed that the cases are increasing at exponential rate with the daily 8.5% increase in the daily case. So accordingly, we find mortality rate also. Mortality rate was also high. So uh, based on this one to interpret, the implication of this study was that the COVID-19 confirmed cases were growing at an exponential growth rate of 8.5% during the first month of COVID wave. The time series data collected uh, for the COVID-19 confirmed the cases for Karnataka fits the exponential growth model, though there are various models are statistical models are there. So this proved that the cases are increasing according to the exponential growth model. The finding of the present study may implication for healthcare managers and administration mainly. The first and the foremost task before the government has been to flatten the curve by through drastic measures such as complete lockdown. This was required at that time. Then later it was followed and second lockdown was implemented. And most important implication was for the hospital administrators. There was need to face the challenges task of making provision of beds and treatment facilities in the medical oxygen and essential track. The hospital beds were found shortages, like there was shortage of beds in all major health facilities. And also there was a shortage of oxygen, like which was very life-saving treatment that was that time. So this also could not be managed well. So this the later on with the lockdown and all these things, the rates uh, fell down. So then the situation was managed very well. So thank you very much. So with this, I conclude my session. I'm very thankful to Dr. Rutura sir for, and Pratisha madam for inviting me to provide a lecture on at this technical session. Thank you. Sir.